This tutorial shows how to make a static home page for a WordPress site with a custom page template. So you'll need to have your site open. Uh, you should have your dashboard open on another page. You're going to need an editor with your theme files open and uh, an FTP tool uh, to link up. Of course, make sure that you have your local theme and then your theme on the server chosen as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create the page that I want. So I'm going to go here and create a new page and then give it a name. Usually you want to give it something pretty obvious like home uh, and then put the content that you want on that home page. So um, if you happen to have a um, already done some prototype files and you have some HTML done for that and you know how you want it, you can just paste it in. Just make sure that when you do that you're on the text tab over here and not the visual tab uh, before you put in any HTML inside of that. So, um, right, so you can just add in uh, normal HTML here to it and then um, and then work from there. So I'm just going to put in a, a couple quick things. Uh, div class equals um, small 12 columns. And then image uh, let's say 600 by 300. All right. Um, and I'm just going to put actually uh, medium four. Okay. So that way there'll be three across on the medium and larger. And I'm just going to copy this a couple times. You would have obviously something more, and then you might also have, uh, I don't know, something else up here. Um, Right, something like that. All right, but you would you design this page as you like. Um, one thing to remember um, on this is actually I should show this instead of using the placeholder on one of these. If you want to put an actual image in, you would use the Add Media button here and actually add in an image. You can choose what size it is. If you want to change these sizes, uh, there's some other things that you have to do with the functions dot dot php. Uh, file to do that. So then you'll put it on the page and so that will link it up. Now one other thing I should mention on this when you're adding in media this way is that it automatically gives a link directly back to the media itself and if you would rather link to a specific page or post you'd want to delete that link um, and then instead select it, click link here and then you can link to existing content. So if you have a post or uh, a, you know a page, so this is let's say this one here, that's the post I want it to link to, I can add that in and now it'll have a link to that post. Okay, so you get your page content how you like. Um, you can also click back and forth to um, this to see how it looks. All right, and um, you know go back, just make sure you uh, edit any HTML in this view and then we will publish it. So now we have our page. This is the page we want to be the home page. So the next one is to tell WordPress that we want this to be our home page and for that we're going to go to settings and reading. And then up here we're going to click static page and select that page we just created. Okay, so I'm going to save those changes and now we will see that home page is being used. However, what it's being shown with is the page.php template. So in your files, it's this right now, this page.php template. Uh, and the one I have uses um, this uh, content um, 
piece here and content um, you know will be used to show that out so um, we don't want it to use this we want it to use a custom page template instead so um, what I'm going to do is is go and create my own custom page template alright so um, and then we will sh uh, apply that template to it. So actually, let's go back here. I'm going to go to um, pick one of your page templates. It can, it can be any one, um, usually, but this is usually the easiest way to start. Uh, and then you can just duplicate that one. So I'm going to do uh, a save as here and change the name on this to to um, custom home, I'm gonna call it. Uh, it's up to you what you what you call this, but it, I usually put custom dash in front of it, just because that way I know that this is one of these custom page templates. You can also put a, a folder in there. Some people make an extra folder and put them all in uh, that way. So uh, here we go. That's our custom home, and then I'm gonna start to modify this how I want. So if I still wanted a loop in there for some reason, I could put the loop in there. Um, in this case, um, we don't necessarily need a loop in there. Um, so um, we can we can make it a, a lot simpler. Um, actually, I probably should have used um, uh, the, the page template there. Um, you know, we could, we could just we could have used that one because um, that's a little simpler than index was, um, and we because we don't need all this block grid things as well. Um, so that was probably that was my mistake. But let's just you do this. We'll take out all of this stuff here and. If depending on on what you did, you may want to take out the um, your your row pieces. It depends exa exactly on what you want to put in terms of the content there. Um, if not, you could keep this in here. Um, it's up to you. Uh, so we don't need the uh, if have posts. We don't need the else. I don't need this UL. Um, I'm going to keep the the. You, know, you could keep the loop in there if you want. Um, there's a little bit simpler way, but to to not delete too many things, I'll just show this here. Uh, and then we have to put in our use our template tags to put things in. Um, and so I'm just going to not have a separate file for this. I'm just going to dump it out because in this case, um, all I want for now is the content. So I didn't want the, the page title, I just want the content of the page in this case, but if you want the page title, you could put other things in there um, like that. I don't even necessarily will say want the sidebar on the home page. I might delete that. Um, and so then now I just have the header, the footer, and the content. All right. Um, so that's great, but as it is now, um, I won't be able to. Oh, sorry, I'm on the wrong page here. Um, let me undo these changes. See, I make mistakes too, so I'll keep this in there just to show you guys. Um, I was still on the index page, so I'm going to leave that there and then go to my custom home page instead and put those changes in custom home. Now, custom home right now by itself will still not be able to be used as a custom page template. So we need a little comment at the top of the file that lets it be a custom page template. Uh, so I'm just going to go on the web, let's say I can't remember, WordPress, custom page template. All right, and so then we go to page templates here. And this shows you how to select one. And we want to go down to creating one. Um, and here we go, custom page template. Now, the one thing they don't have is here is they don't have the closing PHP for some reason. So I'm going to copy that. This is all we need, this little comment here for our custom page template. And go back to brackets and paste that in. And then just remember to add the this closing part here to actually close off that PHP. 
and then we'll change this template name, this part here. So you have to keep template name, uh, but you can change what's on the right. So um, custom home template. All right, and save that. So now we have our custom home template.php. I'm going to upload this. So I'll hit refresh here, FileZilla, so I can see it. There it is. Upload custom home. And now we go back to our dashboard. If I go back to my pages and I edit this home page. Now on the right, under templates, I'll choose custom home template and click update. So now this home page, when I refresh it, will use that custom home template to show it, which is just right now this header, my content, and the footer. And that's it.